Kia ora guys, I'm Track. So, sucking dick is pretty awesome, but there comes a point in every blowjob where a decision must be made to spit or swallow. That is, if you want to have your partner come in your mouth. Now, blowjobs are not a high risk activity when it comes to HIV transmission because the lining of your mouth is strong and saliva contains protective properties. It's pretty hard to infect the skin on the inside of your mouth. If your partner comes in your mouth, it does increase the risk of getting HIV as HIV is in cum. From a health perspective, it doesn't really matter too much whether or not you spit or swallow because it's the length of time that the cum is in your mouth that's the risky part. Having a healthy mouth reduces the risk of getting HIV. Bleeding gums, mouth ulcers and throat infections make it easier for HIV and STIs to be transmitted. Flossing or vigorous brushing is better after the big date, not before, because it can break the skin on the gums and who knows, you might get lucky. For fresh breath, try chewing gum, mints or alcohol free mouthwash instead. Men who have lots of oral sex with multiple partners should get regular checkups for STIs like gonorrhea, chlamydia and syphilis every 3-6 to six months. You can also be exposed to hepatitis B from infected cum, so vaccination is a good idea if you're sexually active. Twinrix is the best choice because it protects against hepatitis A and B. For more information about blowjobs and other things to do with having great, fun, safe sex, go to loveyourcondom.co.nz. I'll see you guys again really soon.